now we'll look at departure angle uh, departure angle is the angle that the tangent to the root locus makes at a complex pole the complementary situation to this is the arrival angle and the arrival angle occurs when you have complex zeros the arrival angle is the angle that the tangent to the root locus makes at a complex zero so in this case we are interested in looking at the departure angle at p1 so this system has three poles p1 p2 and p3 and two zeros z1 and z2 so you can write the loop transfer function like so now let's consider uh, point s naught that lies in the root locus if it lies in the root locus then it satisfies the characteristic equation and therefore you can write this equation angle of the loop transfer function gl evaluated at s naught is equal to 2n plus 1 pi uh, so the angle of this gl evaluated s naught is in fact the angle of this entire term and the angle of this entire term is given like so so it's the angle of this term plus angle of this term minus the angle of this term minus angle of this term minus angle of this term now let's look at name those angles these angles psi 1 psi 2 and these angles phi 1 phi 2 and phi 3 those three they those whole sum x equal to 2 n plus 1 pi now if we see what s0 minus z1 s0 minus c2 s0 minus p1 all these are vectors so when if you look at where those vectors are you see that s0 minus z1 is in fact this vector s0 minus z2 is in fact this vector s0 minus p1 is in fact this vector and so on and so forth and the corresponding angles uh, psi 1 psi 2 phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 are the angles that these vectors make with the positive direction of the x-axis now if we drag s0 to p1 then this vector s0 minus p1 will in fact become the tangent vector and then phi 1 will become the departure angle phi d1 so what we do is we find an expression for phi 1 and then we'll drag s0 to p1 and that's uh, what we do here we have an expression of phi 1 we drag s0 to p1 and we find what these various angles are so if s0 coincided with p1 then psi 1 would be tan inverse of 2 divided by 2.5 psi 2 would be tan inverse of 2 divided by 2 phi 2 would obviously be 90 degrees or pi by 2 radian and phi 3 would be 2 divided by 3 tan inverse of 2 divided by 3 and then if you go and calculate you'll find that phi 1 which is phi d1 would be minus 220 degrees so minus 220 so you go minus 180 is right here and another 40 degrees this almost looks right approximately so our answer is right to summarize this lecture on root locus you should understand the concept of root locus what root locus is um, and you should understand how it plays into controller design you should understand how we can plot the root locus in the complex plane and then impose uh, design constraints such as, such as limitations on rise time, limitations on settling time, limitations on percentage overshoot and design the controller i.e. select the parameters understand the concept of loop transfer function and how to derive it from a, a block diagram or a transfer function or a characteristic equation what have you you should understand how to draw root locus by hand there are various uh, concepts that you should understand plotting poles and zeros of the loop transfer function you should understand how to find root locus in the real axis concept of the break in and break out point how to compute them crossings on the imaginary axis asymptotes and finally departure and arrival angles that's the end of our lecture